Hello everyone. This is your master teacher Surabhi from Nidantu. How are you all doing today? So guys, today uh, while I'm recording this video, Russia has already invaded Ukraine. It has taken a large parts of Ukraine and we think that soon Kyiv is going to be taken over and Ukraine is going to fall. Now in this scenario, uh, initially I thought that I will, you know, when I started thinking of this video, Russia had still yet not invaded Ukraine. So the presentation was very different as to whether Russia will be doing it or not. And I think the entire world did not expect Russia to take such a huge step. However, we are going to go ahead with this video to see if there is a danger of World War III now that Russia has invaded Ukraine and what is next? What would India's position be in such a scenario? So guys, welcome to today's session where we are going to be looking at some history of these, you know, very far-flung worlds. Uh, probably a lot of people didn't even hear about Ukraine before this conflict. All right. Hello everyone, remember to give a thumbs up to the channel of Young Wonders and if you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. So let us start with the Russia versus Ukraine story. So right now, all newspapers, all TV channels are kind of showing you exactly what is happening in Ukraine. And uh, this goes back to, uh, of course, our Russian President Vladimir Putin, who initially, you know, for many years, he has been repeatedly saying that Soviet Union, when the USSR and Russia was Soviet Union, it had all of these countries in it. That was one of the glorious points of history when it comes to Russia. So internally, he's a person who feels that, you know, a united Soviet Union is what is going to make Russia's position again stronger in the world. Kind of wants to bring back that glory uh, that existed before. So what happened Russian President Vladimir Putin began a military action against Ukraine. Why now, after so many years? I mean, if he felt that way, he could have done it at any point of time. The reason is that he claims that Russia had no choice but to defend it itself against the threats he claims that was coming from Ukraine. Aise kya threats kar raha tha Ukraine? The Ukrainian president jo hai, wo he is saying that no, Moscow is wrong, Putin is wrong. This is clearly an invasion, an invasion that Ukraine does not want that is going to kill thousands of civilians. Right. The latest news when I am making this video is that Russia has also taken over the Chernobyl nuclear reactor. So let's look at the map here and I'm going to vanish a little so that it's clear. So as you can see here is where you have Russia. Okay. The map kind of. Uh, yeah. So here where you have Russia, you have Kiev, which is the capital of Ukraine. And just on top of Kiev, you have the Chernobyl nuclear plant. Right. Uh, now, guys, what is the big and, and how come it took Chernobyl? Because Belarus, which is the country on top of Ukraine, is actually a partner of Russia. Ja, Belarus said we will not directly participate in the conflict, but it did probably give way to Russia to enter Ukraine. Now, what is the significance of Chernobyl? Chernobyl is a site of a nuclear disaster that took place many years ago. Uh, it's a TV series, be it, you have time to watch it. And uh, par, you know, Russia, Russian forces are holding the staff of Chernobyl hostage. That area is the exclusion zone because it is filled with nuclear waste. It is filled with uh, things that, you know, uh, normal people should not go and touch. Uh, However, Russia taking control of Chernobyl is a danger to the entire of Europe. Because again, uh, we do not know ki ki jo shelling hui hai, how much damage it has caused. What, why is Russia you know, trying to take control of that site? It is something that the entire of Europe might want to you know, kind of be careful about. But anyways, wo abhi latest news hai. and, and uh, you know, we are having shelling across Ukraine. A lot of military airports have been destroyed. A lot of in and outs of Ukraine has been destroyed. People, common people have been given weapons saying, Keep, go on the road. Keep, you know, road fighting is now uh, will start. And your common civilians are now getting weapons in order to find the, fight the Russian invasion. Right? Now, the question is, why is Putin so interested in Ukraine? Theek hai, Putin ko lagta hai ki Ukraine is a threat, but exactly why? So, so, to understand that, we need to understand the history of Russia and Ukraine. And we are not going to go into a lot of detail. Uh, 
बट ड्यूरिंग द कोल्ड वॉर जैसे मैंने बोला सोवियत यूनियन वॉज द लीडर ऑफ द ब्लैक सी वेयर इज द ब्लैक सी तो आप देख रहे हो यूक्रेन के नीचे वाला जो एरिया है दैट इज द ब्लैक सी ऑल ऑफ दैट ओरिया एरिया यू नो यूक्रेन पोलैंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एरिया वॉज मतलब अ पार्ट ऑफ द सोवियत यूनियन सो वेन After the Cold War and when Soviet Union crumbled, Russia kind of lost all of those kingdoms, and a lot of them started getting westernized or started becoming a part of NATO. So, अब जो yellow part में देख रहे हो countries को, all of them are a part of NATO. What is NATO? Now, during the Cold War, Soviet Union made a pact called the Warsaw Pact. जिसमें उन्होंने एक मिलिट्री अलायंस बनाया ऑफ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज वेर दे सेड दैट इफ एनी वन अटैक्स एनी ऑफ दीज कंट्रीज ऑल ऑफ अस विल फाइट टूगेदर ठीक है तो इन अगेंस्ट दैट यूएस मेड नेटो दैट इज द नॉर्थ एट नॉर्थ एटलांटिक ट्रीटी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेर इट ब्रॉट ऑल द कंट्रीज टुगेदर इन अ मिलिट्री अलायंस सेइंग दैट इफ एनीवन अटैक्स अस एनी ऑफ दीस कंट्रीज ऑल ऑफ अस विल फाइट बैक तो इस सिचुएशन में एज यू कैन सी ऑल ऑफ दीस कंट्रीज आर नेटो कंट्रीज ऑलमोस्ट सराउंडिंग रशिया नाउ यूक्रेन जो है इट ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड टू ज्वाइन नेटो इट वॉन्टेड टू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ यूरोपियन यूनियन यू नो इट्स अ डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री फ्री विल है उसकी मर्जी है बट रशिया वॉन्टेड टू कीप द वेस्ट आउट ऑफ यूक्रेन बिकॉज एज यू कैन सी तो रशिया को सराउंड कर देगा नेटो एंड ऑब्वियसली रशिया फील्स थ्रेटेंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सो दे वॉन्ट अ रोल बैक ऑफ यूरोपियन फोर्सेज फ्रॉम यूक्रेन एंड दे डू नॉट वॉन्ट यूक्रेन टू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटो Russia thinks that if Ukraine is allowed to join NATO, the group would move closer to Russian borders. And obviously, see, we have to understand that both parties here are not innocent, है ना? United States and NATO also knows what it's doing when it is offering its membership to Ukraine. It knows how it is bordering China. Uh, sorry, Russia. And Russian president has repeatedly told Ukraine that if you go ahead with this, we will have no option but to demilitarize you. Demilitarize मतलब जो military है foreign country की, NATO की वो आपके country से हटानी होगी, right? Russia also believes that Crimea, जहाँ पर काफी सारे Russian sympathizers थे, who wanted to be a part of Russia, that Russia had taken over. Ukraine will try to take back Crimea once it becomes a part of NATO. right hence russia demanded the west to stay out of ukraine and he said that after that and, and as i said putin also has this long ambition that one day russia is going to be a superpower where all the 14 former republics including ukraine will again be a part of russia right now he constantly again demanded ki west or ukraine promises that they will not join hands to become a part of nato which they did not ukraine was going ahead of it okay and why not it's a you know independent country अब आता है मेजर क्वेश्चन कि आर वी मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द थर्ड वर्ल्ड वॉर नाउ गाइस वर्ल्ड वॉर इज नॉट समथिंग कि यू नो लाइक ओह वर्ल्ड वॉर इट इज समथिंग दैट विल टैंक द एंटायर वर्ल्ड्स इकॉनमी इट कुड इंपैक्ट ईच एंड सिंगल वन ऑफ अस राइट सो ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी डू नॉट वांट Ukraine is not a part of NATO right now so it seems that most of the world leaders at this point is condemning helping ukraine in terms of military supplies financial resources but they are kind of not starting a full on military conflict with russia right however this war has already had an impact on the market economy on the uh, global commodity market jahan par stock market gir gaya hai and a lot of people are seeing problems in the supply chain of the world right uh a lot of manufacturing a lot of export that happens from ukraine for example from ukraine to india we get a lot of sunflower oil a lot of natural gas goes from russia to europe through ukraine so all of these things will get impacted because of this war now that we are more interconnected than before फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर और सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर के टाइम वी वर नॉट एज इंटरकनेक्टेड बट टिल दिस पॉइंट हम है तो कोई भी वॉर होता है इट डस इंपैक्ट द एंटायर वर्ल्ड हाउएवर इज दिस गोइंग टू लीड टू अ थर्ड वर्ल्ड वॉर I don't think so. At this point, all international leaders have kind of ruled out uh, the idea of a full-on military conflict. People have condemned it. They are asking Russia to please pull back and start negotiations. Uh, and we hope that does that you know that is what happens and Ukraine's people get a little peace. Now, final, what is India's position on Russia and Ukraine crisis? Now, guys, India, जो है फर्स्ट जब से हमें इंडिपेंडेंस मिला है वी हैव ऑलवेज फॉलोड वॉट जवाहरलाल नेहरू जी ब्रॉड एंड दैट इज द नॉन अलाइनमेंट पॉलिसी 
right that means that we will not be you know in a soviet union or america's side and we will and we have constantly abstained from commenting on this issue United Nations maybe जब भी voting हुई है you know whenever we've had voting on this issue uh, India has abstained from voting neither condemning Russia nor giving support to NATO why because we you know actually take imports from Russia Ukraine as well as take a lot of help from United States so it goes against our interest to uh, you know kind of uh, support one and uh, make the enemy of the other but our prime minister has appealed to putin to think about his actions and come up for negotiations and of course take our help if they need our help which i don't think so but if they need it we are here right uh, in terms of diplomatic help so india ka bhi ye position hai and i think yahi rahega because we have to look at our interest in the geopolitical scene right so this is still now what is happening in the us uh, sorry in the russia ukraine crisis let me know if you want to know the exact historical reasons ki russia kya tha what was soviet union you know exactly what happened you know between them why did it split all of that if you want to know more about it in detail let me know in the comment section below and if you like today's video also let me know if you think you know we are close to world war 3 or if you think that this might die down sab bata dena comment section mein niche now guys if you want to join vedantu for the next entire year be an early vedant because batches are starting in april my all class batches are starting in april and people who join in april they have the most fun kyunki hum aaram se dheere dheere chapters karte hain and you are much ahead of your school right so make sure that you join that but to remember to use the coupon code sug pro to get an amazing discount and of course so that uh, you know uh, you guys are in my batch right and of course crash courses bhi chal rahe hain so if you want to be in that you can also use the coupon code you can also follow me on my instagram page surbi.vedantu where i keep on putting up academic stuff and yeah that's it thumbs up subscribe to the channel and love all of you and hopefully there's going to be peace again soon sooner than later right this is your master teacher surbi signing out for the day bye bye